Um, let's talk about Lee Mason, um, the referee who was at fault really for the lack of offside lines drawn um, in Arsenal's game uh, last week. Um, he has left the PGM OL by mutual consent. Uh, VAR referee Lee Mason has left the officials body PGM OL and will no longer work on the Premier League games following his oh, high profile ref just had a great touch in there. Arsenal's draw with Brentford. Mason had worked as a Premier League referee for 15 years and oversaw just under 300 top flight matches. Um, However, the 51-year-old, while working solely as a VAR operative this season, has twice been dropped for working on a round of Premier League fixtures after high-profile errors. Is this a good sign now Howard Webb is in charge uh, that officiating may improve in the Premier League? That was the question written down. Not that I agree with it. Um, he was very favourable towards Manchester United back in the day, Howard mm -hmm. Webb. But yes. what did you make of this? Because this is pretty big news. I mean... Arsenal fans, including Robbie, have said they wanted to roll down to Stockley Park um, and <laughs> have a word. You, you missed it Monday. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I saw that's the clip. He was going mean. in. Um, but then what do you make of this news? Because it's almost like the referees here have admitted, or the PGMOL, surely, have said, no, that isn't good enough. Well, they did You're admit gone. that it was wrong. They, 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 they admitted but Monday to sack him or, or mutual consent, that's, nah. that's massive news, nah, I listen, think. Listen, I've said, I don't know why, if you're a retired referee, retire. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you in the backstage working on? I don't exactly. I don't Agendas care about agenda. filling Lee Mason's pockets, bro. Once you've retired from the pitch, go to your farm and go pick out some aubergines, whatever it is you lot do. <laughs> don't be <laughs> you in the VAR room. Do, do all retired. Is that, is that we need do, fresh eyes. We need fresh aubergines. referees, if you like. Whoever the up and coming referees are, they need to do better in schooling and educating them and utilize them. Yeah, because too often I feel like yeah. Spot we on. blame VAR I don't think we've ever say seen VAR something like this though Fu. this what? is you've made a mistake gone get out good this is massive good and I know it's Arsenal who he's cost I'm happy about that but that I'm fair? sorry when you make high profile errors of oh that magnitude where that can make a difference in the title no and, and if they say now for example Arsenal but lose the title is that too if harsh, Arsenal bro. lose the Look. title on two points and that game could have given them those two points no, no, no. but bro last season hand of hand of rod at Everton we should have won the league Listen. if that penalty goes in that but then there was given. the one I think the week later where a Liverpool player trod on someone for me I always think when, 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 when a referee makes it oh no that don't, it was against Liverpool so yeah. when a referee yeah. makes a clear and obvious mistake they should always be penalised whether it's you get relegated for six weeks or whether it's he is a retired ref you should Ooh, not even be poor. in the VAR room the fact that you're there that now and cool, making so. mistakes on top of it shows me why you retired. So double, double retired. Uh, I just, I, I, I just want to say one double thing retire. about this, this Lee Mason <laughs> wow. thing. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm not condoning it because I think the standard of refereeing is super poor. And I also think VAR is, could be implemented far better than it is. But he's not the only person that was in that room for that Arsenal game. He wasn't the only one That's that was there saying, to check the this lines. Harsh, yeah, no, I, I think it's harsh in general because I think that there should be a more accounts. But why, why is it just him? Is you know it why? He was the head of it that yes, day. Yes, yes. But my thing is, and this is not to say that you throw other people under the bus, but you know at Stockley Park, there is a team of how many refs? Is it like four, four five, six? Four video refs four and then one video main refs. One, I think. So he's obviously checked one phase of play rather than the original phase of play my thing is and not and not down the line so but why has not one of the other three or four members of that var yeah. team said lee hun you haven't checked this part before you've like there, there should have been someone that's also i get it i get it but just like it's in like any if, job if, if we did it there's if, employees if did it, and then the buck stops it, no? with the manager it always stops it with the manager with, but, but he's and not he's the, manager. the he's the he was in charge in that, that day room. the supervisor if you like and he's but, a supervisor, the buck stops with. You're meant to be the final check. Before you contact the referee and say, that is a goal, you're meant to be the final one that checks those four referees under you and says, the work they've done is good. I've double checked it and I can clear that's the correct decision. Yeah. If you now say, I've double checked it and that's clear and it's the wrong decision, you have to be held accountable. Because you, you're the one that's essentially given the green light. It's not just though? one person, VAR is a team. It is a team, but there has to be one voice. Because if it's four voices, then it's like, oh, too no, many which cooks. One? Yeah, too but many cooks. Do you know what? You have to have one leading voice. And if that's where the buck stops, I'm happy. And if yeah. he's the one that pays the price, I'm happy with that as well. I, I but, agree. But, but the I other thing is, whatever, whatever makes it and better. And it might sound harsh, one and done. But for me, my thing is, is you, 
uh, the reason why I'm being harsh on Lee Mason is because you're a retired ref, bro. Yeah. I don't have yeah, the patience yeah. Yeah. to see yeah. but a retired ref now messing so the game up even more. if he was a current ref, you would have said, don't sack him. I would have said, yeah, discipline him maybe. Okay. I don't know, take him out of our room for well, four weeks. Yeah. Why have you come back from retirement? You retired for a reason because you probably thought it was time to retire. He saw his why uh, you come pension back? from, I better get back yeah. in the bar room. Yeah. But, but the <laughs> other thing I'd say on VAR with me farm to pay for. Is, is processes, <laughs> right? So... There should be processes in place, right, that lines, forgetting to draw lines on just doesn't happen. There should yeah. be a process in place. Facts. That's on VAR. There should be a process in place. Now, I don't know exactly, but there's been a couple of times, I won't say which clubs, where apparently there weren't the right cameras there. And no, no, no. <laughs> Let me finish, Alex. Let me finish. This is defending. <laughs> say it. No, Name no, no. Names. I I'm so talking about I'm, no, I'm no, them, but, but I'm defending Liverpool name. here. So one of them is Liverpool. The other one is, I Brilliant. think, there was another ground. There was that but, Emirates as well. Right. The Liverpool and this game is the Saka thing. Offside, but this is not on Liverpool. Went, yeah. And this is not on Fair the Emirates. Enough. I agree. This is on the FA. If you're bringing in VAR, what, are you not going to every single ground and checking? Is there like a guy with a clipboard going, tick, Exactly. Yeah. What, so, you know what that, and that find. is on them. And this is why Lee Mason's probably holding it because he's the scapegoat for the yeah. fact that the FA ha don't yeah. have the right I, processes. I totally, in place. totally agree with you. And what I also That's find very track, odd actually, yeah. is that in cup games where you have a stadium that has True. VAR, you can use it, but you can't. I, I think that's so that's wrong. Mental, yeah. I think that if that's yeah. the case, you should. If it's if not every team has it, you, can't you shouldn't it. be yeah. using yeah. it. No, exactly. How is that fair? It's Facts. not fair. It's absolutely yeah. not fair. It's not and fair. It's and it's biased. And yeah. at what point do VAR spread to Championship, League One, League Two? Because if there there is to be an advancement and a positive mind frame with VAR, surely they should be rolling. And, out and maybe the Premier League, League and, and maybe that's thing, where the FA needs to look at money. Should hold that cost, no? Should, yeah. Should. Look, that's the thing. The, I think if you're going to roll it out, should help to roll it out. Or the league, the association or of that league should pay for I, it. I do genuinely or, or the think Premier League, the Premier League is Alex, the Premier League helps. Cost? The FA help and the Premier League help. There's a fund that goes into it to get it everywhere. Thank you. Um, couple of comments Qatar here. can help Qatar out with that. Qatar plus Howard Webb equals United unstoppable. Yeah, says Paul. I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. Uh, sure, AFTV getting involved. The real AFTV saying, Sora means nothing. And we have had three points stolen from us because of incompetence. Oh, there we go. Excuses are coming. I'll take everything They're back. Allowed man. today. Freely Mason, man. Freely Mason. Mason. I'll take everything back. Uh, someone <laughs> said Freely Mason. I mean, Big Steve. Well, um, that sounds like uh, Free Mason. There is a super Freely chat. Mason, <laughs> there's yeah. a super chat from Free Tina. Great song that. Uh, he said, "Comparing these to Manchester United are so wrong, Miga. This is not." Uh, where you as an owner can earn money unless you own PSG. Uh, SK said, working with Qatari people, you can view as an opportunity to posi positively yeah. influence instead of having the aptitude of don't talk oh. to anyone you disagree with. Uh, Big Ash said, it's unprecedented. Arteta said that this was something Too more much. than a human error, implying foul play. Maybe they are investigated and decided to sack him. Was he involved with City at all? I know this. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what I can and can't say, so I can't really say anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, someone said when I said something off air earlier on, someone said, Is that 100% proven? And apparently, if it's not 100% yeah. proven, I can't yeah, say can't it. Say although it. I'm hearing cheats a lot. Can't but say anyway, it. we move. Uh, all the games, we've still yet to have a goal. It's nil nil. We're still yet to eight. have a goal. 30 minutes, but it gives us more time to debate questions like this. If yes. you were to make one change with VAR, what would it be? Scoop on. I think refs being mic'd up. I if agree. Oh you. yeah, that but that should just be standard. I yeah, think. I think so. The think way it works in rugby, I think yeah. it would just it be top to respect. And and the excuse can't be, oh, but the football players will be swearing all the time, so it won't be good for the kids. NFL then football players need to do it. And do you know what? You look at so games well. like NFL and again and games like rugby where yeah. they're super physical, right? Yeah. And they actually have respect. I, I see far more sir. respect for the referees in those two sports than I do in this one. Yeah. And also from the fans. And but also they, the, they, they the explain it. You but know? also the respect from the referees back. That the yeah. referees, I've seen rugby players go over angry and the ref go, I understand why you're frustrated. Firstly, there's a difference. Not angry, because I've had that where someone goes, oh, you seem angry, I'm frustrated. There's a big difference. Yeah. And the ref say, you seem frustrated. Listen to what I'm going to tell you, my reasoning, and then if you're still frustrated, we can have a conversation there. We'll then meet you in the car park. Yeah, after. yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, then they'll explain it, and the player will go, all right, fair enough. And it's just calmed down the whole situation. It's, it's, it's just, a mu it'll be much better in terms of communicating for fans and yeah. communicating with players. Um, and I also think, for, for me, what the standard of officiating has always been pretty poor, in my opinion, in the Premier League. It has yeah. been, um, and I think that VAR was brought in to try and assist that and help that. And mm. I do believe that VAR has the capability to do that yeah. if implemented correctly. But my problem is that VAR 
in a way has allowed the officiating to actually get worse because yeah. now referees yeah. are reliant yep. on VAR. If, if, if there's a penalty call and the ref don't give it, it's okay because he knows that VAR is going to say, you need to go back and check that. And my and thing is, is if you it. mic them up, you can hear the referee reasoning with VAR. Absolutely. You can hear the dialogue. You can hear the referee's input into that decision. Mm. And the other thing as well is I feel like if players know the ref's mic'd up, they're less likely yeah, to be disrespectful. Yeah. They're less likely Hell to say, yeah. oh yeah. They'll they be reminded not... by the manager and the captains, remember the ref's, the ref's mic'd up, so don't 100%. call him this, so now when you, But the thing so, is, now when you abuse a ref, we also heard it and see the video camera, there's no hiding mm. it. Do you know the thing, other so. thing that needs to be mic'd up? The conversations that the referee's here in, in his ear. From mm. VAR? Yes, from the VAR room. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I mean. When, when, when I'm saying mic'd up, yeah. so the conversation when he up, says, yeah. okay, what have you seen? Da, da, da. Oh, I've seen yeah. cha, cha, cha. I've right, seen I'll give this. the penalty. <laughs> Watch this space. I in think that one. it's oh, outside. I, I think that would be very, very, very Some good. Robot. Or should we do AI? <laughs> oh, everything's doing AI now. Mm -hmm. uh, Sideline camera that monitors the offside, the last player, takes at the man. What a camera that's just going a up camera and down. That just goes up and down. And the hoardings. You get a attached. beautiful angle. When you said of takes the game out the well. man, what are we talking like? Take out the lineals. What do we need well, lineals? Oh right, do. okay. Be, what do we need so lines? Take out the last man. Ro There's a lot of kids that grow up wanting, up wanting anyway, to be lineals, so. man. Well, they literally don't even well, use their flags anymore. We use offsides VAR for ninety percent. Just be Peter Crouch. Let's just get cameras there that gives us a a perfect one v one angle for wing wingers versus fullbacks as well. Is that not a great angle? I think you need a line. The lines camera. Just for the VAR on the last man. You know what linesmen are these days? Chance! They're, they're oh. like, do you remember when you had those Rodri with the referees header. with poles behind the goal? Yeah. Next yeah. to the goal. They're like those, pretty much. They're just oh, there yeah, for, they were for thing, sure. They were a thing. Do you remember that? They were a the, thing. They're the were fifth officials. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What happened to them? They were to make sure... VAR came along and they were like, the sod them penalties. off. The one thing I would change about VAR is at the minute it's just red cards and penalties and offsides, yeah? I would change it so it covers everything. Anything yeah. that you think that should be checked. Why shouldn't it? The, yeah, the yeah, technology, that, well, that the was a good chance. The technology so. and time is there. Yeah. So if there is a, an off the ball thing that isn't maybe a red card, but it's definitely a yellow, that should not be not seen. That mm. has to be VAR. I do, Everything I, I should I do be like VAR. that aspect of getting away with it though. No, <laughs> listen. Exactly. It's, it's, it's almost like a little up, loophole yeah, you've got, yeah, you know, like, hey, I can get away with that. But, <laughs> but even that will be caught. The it will be caught. Yeah. So if it has been caught on a camera, <laughs> because there's never anything you can get away with on a, on a football <laughs> pitch. That was one of my favourite ever football That was, yeah, like Romero Cucurella, I'm thinking oh. last, that would have been red card penalty. I don't know why that, that was though. And I'm like, I don't get point. why that it wasn't. To, Here's my point. It was VAR. picked up. We all saw it. Yeah. So why couldn't that go to VAR? I don't know. See if Lee Mason was doing it that day. Cause... Well, he's probably jealous because he's got no hair. I mean, that's <laughs> awesome. I never knew how that wasn't a red card. The sausage. But, crazy, um, crazy but this is debate again. We could sit here and, and talk about the, the changes that we want to see introduced in the Premier League. Are they going to happen? Probably not. Will this debate happen again next week and the week after? It probably will. I think, I think the one with... Uh, 